Trade What You See with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, we're going to take a look at some of the stock indices. I've already posted the NASDAQ showing you that we have a one point, uh, excuse me, an ABCD extension uh, uh, going up to, uh, believe it or not, 13,900. I can't believe we got out of that 300 points lower. We stopped out of that for a loss. And anyway, uh, what we'd also like to look at is the fact that the Russell, we've already posted that, is extremely weak, making a, can't even make an ABCD at a 382. And then also, the last one we want to look at is going to be the Dow Jones, because uh, that has been one that has been, uh, oh, before we do that, I wanted to do the, uh, do this one more time here to see. By the way, I, I got some sad news today. Uh, someone who I really liked, I met him once or twice over the years at the Money Show, was Sam Zell. And he was a really nice fellow, one of the smartest minds in real estate uh, that the uh, U.S. has ever seen. And he passed away today. I don't know how old he was, but I know he's a lot older than me. But this is the Dow Jones Transportation. Uh, you'll see here we've had lower highs all the way through here. Even today, uh, we were higher earlier and then backed off uh, quite a bit from that area. So that's not showing a a whole lot of strength and of course we need to look at the uh, hold on one second and I will get that up here hopefully eventually the Dow Jones and that's coming up right next uh, and you'll hear again the same thing in the Dow Jones we're not seeing much of a rally at all as a matter of fact we uh, barely made it to the 50 percent level today and then it started to uh, back off again remember it's the Nasdaq that is running the market right now and it's doing it through these stocks like this one right here I've showed you uh, others but we're gonna this is the one in, in Nvidia and I don't even know what an Nvidia is uh, so I'm just going to tell you the chart this is where I thought it was going to top yesterday and uh, you can see here this exploded now if you didn't use a stop you'd be setting with a six thousand let's see yeah three six thousand dollar loss because of your fact is we had some profits in here actually well we were doing the nasdaq but th this thing absolutely exploded way up here i mean it's gone 12 13 points higher that's why when these patterns fail folks by golly you've got to get out of dodge that's that's what you have to do and the faster you figure that out you know the faster you're going to be now here's another one this happens to be softy microsoft now this is one that has got a lot of players so there's a lot of people that believe in it a lot of people that don't but here again you're looking at a long-term chart here it's a daily but look at this big ABCD measuring up here to uh, 3 uh, 312 we've been as high as 316 so far today so we're in there where there also is another pattern also coming up into this area but these are topping but it doesn't make any difference where the top is if there's one or two of those eight or ten stocks in the NASDAQ that just keep pushing and pushing it higher, that's what you've got to prepare yourself for is to get out of Dodge if it doesn't uh, if it doesn't work the way that you want it to do. One of the things that I did last night, of course, we were very interested in buying the gold. We had a beautiful pattern uh, for buying gold today down at the uh, – hold on one second and I'll, I'll get it up here so you can see it. This is the uh, pattern that we had for the gold market. Happened exactly two thirty, well, a little before two thirty in the morning because my alert uh, awakened me for two two reasons. One was December corn hit the exact price, and so did the gold. So I saw what happened here. Uh, this is right there, and we had a little bit of a rally. And since I was up watching these things, I said, well, I better double check what's going on in that gold market because I don't want to get caught in that possibility of a total meltdown. So all I did was I went down to a four-minute chart and I wanted to see how the market handled that low at 1975. Now remember this takes several hours to get here so for the next hour as you can see there were about 30 bars. The next hour right up in here we made a 382 of the high right back here 
And I said, if we go below here, I don't want to have anything to do with it. And so I sent out a video saying, folks, put your stop $2 below our buy price at 1975. And if we get stopped out, it's going to go a lot lower. And as you can see, once it got stopped, it rallied back to the 382 once, rallied back to the 283 the third time. And right now it's just going sideways. So we're going to be looking at it again. But again, this is the amount that you have to put on the table here is how much you have to risk to see if we're going to be in the gold market. And I don't want to I, after looking at that possibility of it going to 1905, we're not that far away, folks. That's only $45. And if you're down 30 today and 30 tomorrow, Monday, you, you could be there, be there tomorrow as we come into a new moon. And I'm going to certainly be watching the, the pattern to see if the ABCDs come together around that time because it'll give me a place to enter the gold without risking too very much. And that's what the whole thing is about. The same thing in silver. Do you remember? Last week in silver, we spent a great deal of time talking about this 382 pattern that was in the silver. And I think you've got to, because we repeat these over and over again. When these patterns fail, and there it was right here, thir uh, 23, that was a Thursday, and Thursday and Friday had the same low, 2391, and it rallied to 2448, uh, folks. It rallied 50 cents or $2,500, and then we came back through it. And that's when Katie and we're below here right now. So we're coming down sharply from that letter. Now, when that happens, what you want to do as a trader is to find out where you should reverse your position. So the first thing you do is you move to a 15-minute chart. These are things that we'll be talking about when we do a live day trading thing again. You just switch over, and we'll be doing this whenever these markets are. There's your... There's your three drive to a top pattern. You can see that there's drive one, drive two, drive three. That makes this an expanding triangle. A T a T six is what Mr. Uh, Gartley called it. Uh, Wells Wilder called it a broadening top. One, two, three, four, five. Beautiful three drive to a top pattern. We make a perfect Gartley right here. Then we make the first three eight two. Then there was a report. This was a 382 off of the high, and then you can see you had another 382 right here, and another 382, and they keep going ad infinitum until it finally reaches that bottom that uh, you're going to have to calculate for tonight to see what it could be tomorrow because we've got another report coming out tomorrow, plus we have all the cycles that Norm talked about uh, today. So that's what we're doing as we try to un unravel what we're looking at here in the thing. What I tried to do here earlier today was to see the un possible unraveling in the NASDAQ. And I'll get this up here to show you because i uh, watching the 382 perform uh, in some of these other markets. And it acts pretty good. And there's a trick to knowing which one of those ties to pick. But there's your 382. And, of course, you started to uh, start the market has started to uh, – move down only slightly uh, from that level, but we're quite a bit lower right now at uh, 1758. Uh, we'll be right back, 877-927-6648. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com 
TFNN Educating Investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF nn.com are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio tom o'brien is here to help tom o'brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years a frequent contributor to td ameritrade network and cnbc tom o'brien founded tfnn over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating Investors. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I posted the chart of the euro showing that 61% retracement up there at 110. We're now trading at uh, almost 106. Uh, we don't know how far this thing is going to go down, but what we've been doing is following it down on a smaller time frame to see, you know, what uh, levels we should probably expect if the market continues to go down. Now, at any time, it can reverse, and then you'll have to stand aside. But as you can see here, uh, there, there, this was the, the first 3A2 right here. Remember, 110, and then also you had another 3A2 right here, another 3A2 right here, another 3A2 right here, and then down right below this level, this is the area where it's most probably going to find the most po positive time for a support because it's going to be the 1.618 expansion of this swing and this swing. You see these swings that are measured right here? That takes you down to there, and this swing here takes you down to here. That's why market here at that 106, that that's going to be the most logical place to take a profit. Now, sometimes you take a profit there, and it just keeps on falling, but that's the name of the game. But even if that happens, you'll be able to see the 1.32s on this because this is the most actively traded thing in the world, and it's pretty easy to see you know what's going on. Now, being... A Friday or a Thursday, uh, the day before the 19th, which is an important day. That's the day little Avery, uh, Sarah's grandson, was born. I can't believe he's 12 years old. He's got the IQ of an 18 year old already, but boy, he's one smart kid and he's a very, very good athlete. But we're going to go over to Germany. Uh, actually, we're going to go to London and see the German index. Uh, stop the front door and raise the rent. Let's get it up here. I keep hitting that red button. I don't know. Must. I don't know why that is, but that's it. Here, as you can see here, we are also in a down move here uh, in the DAX. We've had these lower tops through here. All, all it needs now is the NASDAQ to weaken up a little bit tomorrow, folks, and we'll see these markets uh, continue to move lower. But we still have a chance for that E-mini S&P to make 42.22 on a spike either tonight or tomorrow morning of uh, some kind, and we'll be paying very, very close attention to all of these indices. Now, the next one we're going to look at here is the FTSE, which is the uh, 
the London stocks, but most of, well, all of these these stocks are foreign stocks, folks. There's not I don't believe there's one uh, one stock from from the UK uh, in this. If there is, it's it's not very well uh, subscribed to. I don't believe, but most of these are just foreign stocks that are traded on the London Stock Exchange. That's basically, and as you can see, we've been in a downtrend for quite some time. We've been up to the 61% retracement twice. Now, you can see it's backed off quite a bit. Whether it holds this 61 or not, we'll find out tomorrow. But you see, if it starts to fail and goes down from here, you're going to be looking at a big A, B, C, D to the downside. Folks, when you have something that's happening in the NASDAQ now that's only a handful of stocks, that is not the stock market. That is one sec segment of the stock market that is heavily weighted, and uh, you don't want to stand in front of it. I That surprised me. Of course, I didn't know. Nobody knows. But uh, when those things fail like that, you just got to get out of Dodge, just like the gold today, folks. And even the corn could fail. But what you can do is you can protect yourself by following what these numbers are doing to give you a little bit of a break saying, yeah, maybe this is not going to be as bad as we think it might be. OK, so let's keep that in mind as we uh, look at some of these things uh, unfolding here now. Here is a uh, – I'm going to re reiterate this because we've got this uh, new moon coming up tomorrow. You see the, the, uh, the, the real significant bottom here at the ABCD 1.618 only lasted for about an hour. And then once that failed, it failed dramatically. That set up only one other number that's out there, folks. And that's the number of 1905. That's about 50 bucks from where we are right now. So tomorrow, uh, stop and think, folks. We went from 2080 to uh, 19 to 40. We dropped a uh, hundred and forty dollars in about two weeks. So to go another forty dollars in a couple of days is not a big deal. So we got to be doing our homework tonight and find out a really good place, just like we did today. It was a good place. 1975 the problem was it didn't stay a very good place for very long and that's why we got out and why i reverse uh, i just don't reverse folks and and i spent so much time with mark douglas he said larry look at your trades that you get stopped out of how they reverse and I, you know i've changed a lot of things over the last few years after meeting you know tom hugard and watching his success and seeing 3a2 i have to figure out a strategy to just reverse and go short because two things are happening at that point one is the pattern is failing which means it's going to the next big pattern and the second thing is is that you're trading in the direction of the trend, whether the breakout to the upside or the breakout to the downside. All I have to do is to quantify what the risk is, and I should be able to do that. And at my age right now, being 52, I think I'm 52 or 53, somewhere in that ballpark. Uh, that's what that's my IQ. Something, one of those numbers is in there somewhere. But if I can learn to de discipline myself to do that, and I'm going to have to try it because I've watched it the last three days that every single time one of these things didn't work, it was not a little winner, a huge winner. I mean that that's a thing that really uh, troubled me, you know, more than uh, more than anything else. So. I'll be working on that uh, very, very uh, hard over the next few weeks. If I can, you know, bring some information to you, uh, we'll certainly share with you uh, what we're finding out. But when these patterns fail, boy, they fail badly most of the time. You very seldom see one that, you know, fails and then quickly reverses. That <laughs> you just don't see those. They just keep they just keep going. In fact, one of the best traders that I've ever trained was down uh, John Lewis down in uh, uh, Nashville. He was an options trader, and all he did was uh, he broke. Uh, whenever 786 patterns broke to the upside, he was a buyer. If they broke to the downside, he was a seller. And he was tremendously successful uh, using option strategies to the tune of uh, huge amounts of money. He, he passed away, I think, about 10 or 15 years ago. But uh, he was very, very good at what he did and made a whole lot of money just by doing those breakouts, and especially the 786. And uh, 
when it went above the 1.27, he he was extremely active to the adding, and then when it went above the 1.618, which isn't very long, he was active there too, and those were he just kept adding and adding and adding, and and then when they reversed, he would be stopped out, and he'd look for the next trade. So that's what it's all about. T Tommy, terrific. Tom Hugard does pretty much the same thing. He's selling those breakouts to the upside and buying the breakouts to the downside. That's what he's watching for because that's what gives him the edge that he knows that the trend is strongly in his favor. And unless it reverses right away, you just get on that horse, whip it a few times in the old kabuki and uh, might give you a really nice ride to the finish line. So we're going to take a break here, I believe. We've got some bills to pay and then we'll be right back. 877-927-6648. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating Investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, we've got Jeff in New Jersey calling in about a Gartley pattern question. Fire away, my friend. Hi, thank you, Larry. Um, this question is about reversing off the D point, right? So you see the A, B, C, D, and now you're going to fade that D point and go the other way. My question is, sometimes when you're reversing off that D point, 
you're heading in the direction of the overall trend, and sometimes you're going counter to the overall trend. And I was wondering if you had any statistics on when um, the Gartley hits that 618 of the uh, AD move, you know, that's like the primary target. Uh, if the target is hit more often when you're going with the trend or going counter to the trend because the Gartley is actually a, you know, a bottom or a top. I don't have any statistics on that, Jeff. I've, I've thought about doing it, but, you know, it's very heavily uh, acclimated to programming that I'm not very good at. All I know is my experience sitting here for six years with Mark. We watched those patterns fail, and, I mean, it was, I don't know, it must have been a high number somewhere around 85 or 90 percent of the time that it would make money just by the fact that, it, you know, you hit the D point, it rallies a little bit just like in gold, and then, boom, once it breaks it, you know, it just goes into a whole new thing, which means that there was a much, much larger pattern out there that you didn't see, which that happens all the time, and that's what you always have to be aware of. But I don't know. You know, Jeff, this would be a good thing for you to look at, my friend, because you're pretty good at this. So let me know what you find out, because I really believe that when you fail at those D points, it's a place to reverse. And not only that, but you're trading in the trend, in the direction of the trend, it, it really makes it a, a positive type trade. But I, I just don't. It's just my my mentality, Jeff. And I've been doing this for so long. I have certain things that I do better than others. And years ago, I've tried to reverse, and every time I tried to reverse, but I can't remember why I did it out of frustration, or you know, I I didn't do it scientifically. I'm sure of that. So I don't have the answer to to what you're asking. But if you want to do the research. I will be happy to report it. Okay, I will add it to my list of hundreds of studies that I <laughs> <laughs> that I've written down for myself. So, you know, it's a, you, it's you, a, if you see a good Gartley pattern, you'll take it either way, whether you're going into sure, the trend. Sure, absolutely. Not. Yeah. yeah, they're okay. gonna they're gonna they're gonna win. They're gonna win two out of three times. They're gonna give you three to one payoff, and the ones you lose, you just go on to the next one. I'm really good at shaking off losses because i have them and i just i just move on to the next one and say uh oh here comes the next phone call it might be another sale so that's all i do is get ready for that second one and when i'm ready i go for it gotcha okay all right well thank you i i will uh do that study i have a log of uh quite a yep. few uh, gartley patterns but i haven't been keeping track you know if i was going in there uh, with a trend or counter trend mm -hmm. But I, I will start to keep track of that and see how it goes. Actually, if you get a sample size of 200, you're going to have a really good idea of whether it works or not. You know, 100 is the minimum, but if you get 200, uh, you have a really good idea which ones work and which ones don't. So keep keep notes. You know what? I have a, a log of over 800 uh, Gartleys and Butterflies, mostly Gartleys, over the past uh, three years approximately. So uh -huh. as long as that the charts... I'm sure I can go back that far. As long as the charts are available, I can go back, you know, just follow my log and uh, sure. and see. That's right. So I can do it. Okay. Yeah, do, and if it starts working, the excitement will be so much, it'll be like a heartbeat. You'll be done with very quickly, okay? And if it's good, only share it with me. You'll keep it. We'll keep it ourselves, okay? <laughs> <laughs> no, we can't well, do anything that. Anything you want, can... Larry, I owe it to you because you, no. you, you turned my trading life around. Well, I'll tell you what, if, if I did it that way, it would really be the wrong thing to do. Because if you keep something to yourself, it's worthless. If you give it to somebody else, yeah, you got something good going in your favor. That's how I've lived by, from my mentors, you know, all of them were the same. You find something good, you share it. And that's the that's the way that uh, I've lived my life. And, and it's been a lot of fun. You meet a lot of nice people uh, along the way, too. Okay, now, one thing we want to do now is let's start looking at a couple of these bank stocks, folks, because this ain't over in this banking industry thing. So let's get up here. You'll see here, and this is Bank of America. If you... Let's get the, I got to bring the stock up. I'm going to the, uh, the reason why I'm telling you this, folks, this is not over yet. It really isn't. Look at the Bank of America. This is a bullish stock. Are you kidding me? Yeah, we made a potential little double bottom in here, but even the strength in the markets that we've had, the NASDAQ and the, the S&P, this thing's done nothing. I mean, it just doesn't look very good at all. It, it, there's something wrong. Let's take a look at another one here. This was a, this, of course, is an investment bank, Goldman Sachs. But even Goldman Sachs 
is not acting like anything. Uh, you know, the, the things are looking good at all. We got lower tops. Look at these lower tops and lower bottoms. Goldman Sachs is in a major bear market, boys and girls. Look at that. There, you're, you're in a downtrend. That's all there is to it, you know. So, got lower tops, lower bottoms. That's a definition of a downtrend, and that's that's one of the major banks. Take another look at another one here. This is Morgan Stanley. It's one of my favorite banks because I know Jim Gorman, and he's a very, very astute uh, CEO. But then again, he can't control everything. But here again, there's not many people willing to come in and, and think this is a good buy at this level. Look at this. These little tiny bounces. There's, there's virtually nothing here. Now, this might change. In a day or so, it might not change at all. But the fact that it's not going up right now makes me ponder about some of the other things that are going on as far as the distribution in the market, the fact that the NASDAQ is all strength by itself, and we've got the Dow Jones transportation very good. But if you want to see a really good bank, let's take a look here. James Pierport Morgan, J.P. Morgan, run by Jamie Dimon. And you can see this is a very strong stock. We've got higher bottoms, higher tops all the way. So this is nothing short of uh, nothing wrong in the banking system with this one. If this one had a problem, folks, uh, believe me, our Dow Jones wouldn't be anywhere near where the price would be because this is one of the Dow stocks, and it's been holding the Dow up quite a bit. So that's a, another one that's uh, very, very important. And then, of course, here is the one that is uh, not one of the better banks uh, in the world, but uh, – Certainly is a big one, and that's Citibank. We'll get this up here and take a quick look at it. And uh, you'll see where we are here with Citibank. And then I wanted to share uh, one one other part of the Citibank uh, because of the fact that it is, uh, you can see where it is on the long-term weekly. Remember, this, this, this red button has me mesmerized. This, this bank has been going down for years. Do you remember it, it reverse split? I forget, 10, 20, 30 to 1, whatever it was, just so people could buy it. Because if the price gets, stock gets too low, they can't buy it. So they had to reverse split uh, to get the price up. And it's still been going down even with that. So this is not a, a very well-run bank. But it's telling you that you have to be careful. And Jamie Dimon has warned people that there's something out there. And, of course, you know, Mr. Buffett has always said these ETFs are weapons of mass destruction, and uh, you got to worry about counter counterparty risk on some of these things, folks. If it starts to come, remember that term, counterparty risk, and that means who's on the other side of the trade. We'll be right back. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at 
tfnn.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A Share Bull and Bear ETFs. China A Shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, I posted the uh, chart here. I, at least I hope I posted the chart here. I don't, can't see whether I did it or not. I thought I posted the chart of the live hogs, but evidently I didn't. Let me get it back up here to show you. This is the June hogs, and I wanted to show you the uh, ABCD pattern, three drive uh, that we had, and we had a pretty good rally. But you see the trend is still down. You see the rally just barely gets to the 50%, then backs off. This is the first time that if this holds, we can look for a potential A, B, C, D pattern up here. But the live hog market is, uh, lean hog market is really, uh, really looking uh, rather suspect uh, in here, much like some of these other agriculturals that look really, really, really terrible or not too good. Now, I wanted to um, bring up the uh, crude oil here in just a second. If I can find it, I have just did it and I'm searching desperately to find it and i think i might have to switch over to the tre treasury bonds just to make sure i get this in because this is the one that's more important than than the uh than the crude oil anyway but let's get this chart up to take a look this will be uh, the focus of the uh thing tomorrow because we got a crop we got this uh, economic report coming out we got the new moon and a bunch of other stuff so this is the number, folks, right here, 127.05. Remember, folks, uh, right here is where the trend changed. We had the retracement here, then you had the lower top. This is where, remember, we were we were real, we were long all through here. Then we got short. We caught that first rally. We caught that rally right here. Uh, we didn't get short fast enough because the market didn't reach our level, and we missed this last part. But now. Where we're coming down to now, folks, this is a perfect garlic. This is no different than the one in the corn. A, B, C, D coming in at 127.05. Our high up here, you see the 61% retracement was 123 something, 120, 1, 134. We got to 123.20 or something like that, missed at that. And then you had this level right here, which is nothing more than the head and shoulders pattern. And now that's completing right here. And... If you look at this, you've got an A, B, C, D right here, and then you have a 1, 3, 5 pattern coming in right at that point. So the next thing you got to do is measure from your low to the high, and that's it. And we've got a call from Mike in Virginia. What can I help you with, my friend? Hello, Mr. Larry Presavento. Uh, um, I'm a, a true follower from your work, so I appreciate all the work that you do on Harmonic. I have the, the following question regarding garlic pattern. 
are or are the viewpoints on the structure of M or W formations reliable or or relevant if the viewpoint present a 50% retracement or the 0.618 for the golden pocket? And if so, which one are more? The, you know, that's a really a hard. It's a hard question to answer, but I've always relied on what uh, Albert Einstein said. He said mathematics precedes geometry. So if we're dealing with mathematics, it would be the 0.618 would be more important than the D level. But I try to look at them together because, you know, I'm a trader. I'm not an uh, astrophysicist or anything like that. All I'm trying to do is to get down to what I think is the best possible price. And uh, if, if we were thinking about that in the gold market right now, Mike, that number would be uh, 127.05. So within 15 points of that or $500, I'm willing to take that risk. But uh, the, Einstein said in, in some of his papers, and, and I didn't read the papers, trust me like that, that's a tiny bit over my pay grade, like 150 levels, but, but Bryce Gilmore did. And he said that Einstein said that mathematics precedes geometry. And if someone might like uh, Einstein says that's good enough for me, so I rely on the numbers more than I rely on the D point. That's the answer to the question. That is an absolutely brilliant answer. And thank you so much for your time, Mr. Desavento. And well, I thank really you. appreciate your work. Well, thank you very much, Mike, and I'll get that $20 bill out to you just as fast as I can have a winning trade, and <laughs> we'll see whether it comes thank today or so not, much. or maybe tomorrow. <laughs> thank anyway, you so much. You bet. Thanks for, thanks for calling in, Mike. But it's true. That's what Einstein said, so we'll go from there. The trade of the day tomorrow, we'll be watching this little puppy right here, folks. We've only got a couple of minutes, but this is where the fat lady is going to sing tomorrow, I believe, especially with all this stuff that's going on. Let me get this up here. This is not for the faint of heart. This is like trying to do something in gold at 2080. But uh, we've got this big A, B, C, D that just about completed. We missed it by a hair. Now, if we could get up a little bit higher here today to clear that uh, 13,900. When I say 13,900, folks, do you realize how bearish I was at 13,494? And it was a perfect trade that had a $2,000 profit in it twice, ended up being an $800 loss. So that's why I've got to keep a close eye on it. You know, I might uh, miss the boat, but what I do is I get back on the shore and wait for the next boat to come by, and that's the boat I'm going to be looking for. There's a lot of things to do. Now, this is the weekly, so there's a lot of things I have to do on this chart to get it ready for tonight, but we're going to be watching it. And even if it's not the top and, and, and we don't get the top, it'll tell us that we've got a place to go on because all of these markets just here's a perfect example of silver if you miss this if you miss the top in silver or you miss the top in gold it's no big deal because guess what they sell tickets on this train all the way down look at that beautiful gartley right here a b c d a perfect 382 off of the high perfect 382 perfect 382 they've got tickets on that train all the way down boys and girls and that's what you got to try to do and if you miss it, you miss it. And if you get it right, you get it right. It's not how much money you make. It's how much money you don't lose because trading is a journey. It's not a destination. You'll always be learning, having fun along the way. But that's it. Perfect example of missing something. Had you missed the top in the euro, look what happened to the euro on the way to uh, where it is right now, folks. All the different chances that you had to get on board that train. Remember, we were in way over here. There was a 382 here, 382 here, 382 here, 382 here, 382 here, and we're heading down to that 106 level. So that's what we're watching. So I hope these things help as we look at these each day and have a lot of fun doing it. Tomorrow, our guest hopefully is going to be Bill Meridian of Cycles Research. Always got some great information. He's one of the premier cycle guys around. He's one of the, the best guys that uh, Foundation for the Study of Cycle has for our guest with his seasonality and his experience. And uh, he'll be on as our guest tomorrow. And he'll, we'll spend more time with him uh, tomorrow than with me because he has some stuff that you have to see that is uh, really, really quite important. So remember that. And also remember that when we look at these charts, 
It's not about how much money you make. It's about how much money you don't lose. You've got to put a stop in. A perfect example is this NASDAQ today. Look at this thing. This thing this thing took off because of this particular stock. And if you were standing in front of it, it just runs you over. Not only that, it destroys your trader's soul. And then you're in big trouble because then you don't want to trade anymore because, oh, I screwed up. What did I do wrong? you got to forget it and move on to the next one. That's all you have to do. This is not a game of life or death. It's a game of making a couple of bucks. Let's take a break. 877-927-6648. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. Okay, folks, I uh, wanted to put up a chart here. This is the weekly NASDAQ, and as you can see, it's been soaring. Uh, huge up to over 200 points today based on some of these stocks like NVIDIA, Meta, Face, uh, and uh, Microsoft, and Apple, Google. They're all up. Not like this. Not like the uh, the, um, the NVIDIA. That's just going uh, ballistic. It looks like a rocket ship. But we're getting up to a ABCD 61% retracement on the long-term weekly. So I'll be focusing on that this afternoon. Also, We've got a big breakdown in this gold, and we want to be able to uh, 
you know, see if we can take advantage of a bottom coming in in gold, maybe even as low as a 1905 level. We do know that that 1975 didn't hold for more than about 10 minutes, well, half an hour, but uh, it's still going lower. One more push down might give us one of the better buying opportunities in gold uh, in uh, in quite a bit. So let's remind us. Now, we've got the gold specialist coming up himself, Tom O'Brien Sr. So listen to what that man has to say, folks. He was the man who was buying gold at $2.30, $230 an ounce back in 2001. And I know he wrote it up a uh, a long way. Remember, from 865, folks, it took 20 years to get down to uh, $230. And from $230, we've been up to 21,000 twice now. And I, 21,000, 2100. And I think we'll get to 10,000 in gold. Maybe not in my lifetime, but we'll be able to see. So stay tuned for Tom O'Brien, the Tom O'Brien Show. I'll see you on the flip side tomorrow, Friday. My guest will be Bill Meridian of Cycles Research. You don't want to miss that. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. And please do something for your neighbors and friends out there, folks, because a lot of people are really, really hurt. So we'll see you tomorrow. 